Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is November 8, 2017. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, looking at this market, we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading lower by a point and a half to 25.85 and a half per contract. Futures have been pretty choppy all over the session uh, throughout the evening, but again, right now they are just down a dollar and a half. So we'll see how this market plays out. Yesterday, the markets had a pretty good sell-off, especially in the Russell 2000, but the S&P 500 came roaring back toward the closing bell to finish basically just down a touch. So, again, we'll see what today brings. We have lots of stocks in the news, lots of earnings still out here. Let's get started here. First one we're going to take a look at today is going to be MGM Resorts. Stock right now is trading at $31.48. It's basically unchanged from yesterday's close, which was $31.46. So all in all, MGM is holding up pretty well at the moment. I do think you're going to have some resistance around $32.50 if it does get up there. And also if it sells off, we'll look at it again. I have levels ready if it does decline. So again, MGM with a nice little pop. This is going to help stocks like Win Resorts this morning. Uh, also keep Las Vegas Sands, which has been roaring to the upside lately. That could be in play as well. All right, let's take a look at Synaptics, S-Y-N-A. Synaptics with a big, big pop this morning. The stock closed at $36.22 yesterday, and it is now trading at $40.94. So this is a really, really good pop here. Again, a little bit on the overbought side. But there probably are a lot of shorts in this, so this thing's squeezing up a little bit. But nonetheless, Synoptics, nice little move there. Again, if I see a resistance level that really strikes me, I will let you know. Right now, stock is moving up. We'll give it a, a short-term upside bias here. And again, if you own it, trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, wait till uh, the market opens and we'll see what kind of pattern we get on the chart. Let's take a look at Take Two Interactive. TTWO is the ticker symbol here. Stock is trading at 119.75, closed at 106.39. So this is a very, very good move for Take Two. Uh, again, uh, this on the back of earnings. Give this stock. Uh, I guess it's overbought here, so I couldn't chase this up here. But um, again, if you own it, trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, leave it alone at this stage of the game. Let's take a look at uh, Activision. ATVI will trade in sympathy to this name. And um, right now, that's trading up a little bit as well. Closed at 60.96, now trading at 62.49. Let's take a look at MBIA. MBI is the ticker symbol here. Stock is trading at 9.25, closed at 6.93. This is a huge pop right here. Again, um, good, good move um, from what I could see. But there should be a lot of resistance all the way up till 10 to $10. So, again, expect it to stall out around here. But if you own it, just trail the stop loss. Really, that's the best way to go about it. But a lot of resistance coming into play, all the way from $10 to $11. So hard to say exactly where. But, you know, uh, these things, when they run, you don't want to over, overstay them. Uh, again, great move on MBI, MBIA. Let's take a look at uh, AAOI, which is Applied Optoelectronics. And this stock right now is trading at $38.80, close to $37.89. Big, big spike yesterday after the closing bell. However, that has come all the way back down. Now, if this fails to hold this 38.50 area, then you're going to have to look all the way down to around $32. So, again, be very, very careful with this name at the moment. Uh, it's still a fragile stock. Now, let's go over now to uh, Humana. H-U-M is the ticker symbol here. Stock right now is trading at 258 Closed at 256.31, so you got a little bit of an uptick. I'm not really seeing anything great here. Uh, the stock has been consolidating on the daily chart, putting in a base. But again, um, it's going to be tough to get to these new highs, at least at the moment, without more consolidation. All right, let's take a look here at another one. Uh, we're going to go with WIX. And this stock right now, uh, trading at 61.50. So WIX, which is Wix.com. Getting hit a little bit. Now, this is a lighter volume name, so you got to be careful. Rarely does a stock trade a million shares a day. Yesterday it did, but normally it trades around three to 500,000 shares, so these things can overshoot. Now, a level I worked out here is around 56.75. So if Wix gets down to 56.75, there could be a play there. Until then, uh, I wouldn't do much with the stock. Let's take a look at Wendy's. Ticker symbol is WEN. Stock is trading at 1409, closed at 1474. I have a level for Wendy's at 1366. 
$13.66 gets down there. I think there is a play. So keep that on the radar today. Let's take a look at Marriott MAR. Stock right now is trading at 120.12, closed at 120.89. So not a big move down, but a little downtick. Not, we're not going to make too much out of that. Let's take a look at Regeneron. REGN is on the back of earnings. Stock is trading at 417.50, closed at 404.39. Good little pop there. We'll see how it plays out. Not much that I'm looking to do with this name at the moment. If it does come down, I have levels worked out. Let's take a look at Zillow Group. ZG is the ticker symbol here. Stock is trading at $40.22. Not a big deal at the moment. This is basically right where it closed. But once the opening bell rings, we'll see how it plays out and trades out. A level I like for Zillow Group today is $36.38. If it gets there, I do think there is a day trade. All levels mentioned, just so you know, are day trade levels only. So again, we'll look at Zillow Group. Once it gets to that level, $36.38. We'll see if it gets there today. Let's take a look at Snapchat, or better known as Snap Inc. Stock right now is trading at $13.52. Closed at $15.12. This has been a disaster from the beginning. And again, pretty weak today as well. I have no levels to give you, unfortunately. But we will look at it once the opening bell rings, and we'll see where we go. All right, uh, we do one more here. Let's go Fossil, F-O-S-L. This is an apparel uh, maker, retailer. Stock is trading at 608, closed at 685. Another haircut here for Fossil. Again, nothing to do here from what I can see. I'd leave this one alone. But we still have lots of levels out here today, lots of moving parts. So once again, if you haven't done so, come on over, take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. Uh, you'll see everything that we are doing there. We had a great 2017 so far, and we're going to look to keep that going right into the end of the year. With that being said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day, and we will see you on the charts.